In this video I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called graphing an absolute value equation in the plane basic. We're asked to graph the equation y equals negative 2 times the absolute value of x plus 3. So to start we should recall that an absolute value when graphed will have a V type shape. It might be an upside down V, a narrow V, or a wide V. But the important thing is that the tip of the V will occur where the thing inside the absolute value is zero. And since this has just the x inside the absolute value, we know that the point of the V will happen at x equals zero. And so to graph this, I'm going to plug in a zero for x, but I'm also going to choose a couple of points to the left of that. Minus one and two will work, and a couple of points to the right. So I'll use a positive one and a positive 2. And plugging those values in, I'll start with x equals 0. When we plug that value in, we will have y equals negative 2 times the absolute value of 0 plus 3. And then following the order of operations, the absolute value is a grouping symbol, so the absolute value of 0 is 0. Next we move on to multiplication, negative 2 times 0 is also 0. So we have y equals 3 when x is 0. So, so far we have the point 0, 3. Next I'll try 1. So when we let x equal 1 and we substitute into the equation, y equals negative 2 times the absolute value of 1 plus 3. Again, the absolute value of 1 is 1. Moving to multiplication, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. And then negative 2 plus 3 is 1. So we have the point 1, 1, which is here. I'll continue with the positives by doing 2 next. When I substitute 2 in for x, we get y equals negative 2, absolute value of x, which is now 2 plus 3. The absolute value of 2 is 2. And then multiplying negative 2 times 2 is a negative 4. And when we add the 3, we have y equals negative 1. So our next coordinate is 2, negative 1, which is here. And we'll next move to substituting in these negative values of x, starting with negative 1. Substituting for x, we would have y equals negative 2 times the absolute value of negative 1 plus 3. And here when we evaluate the absolute value, since the absolute value turns a negative number into a positive 1, this would be negative 2 times a positive 1 plus 3. Doing the multiplication first, this would be a negative 2 plus 3, or y equals 1. So our next coordinate is negative 1, 1, located here. And then lastly, we'll plug in what should have been the negative 2, giving us y equals the negative 2 outside the absolute value, replacing x with negative 2 inside the absolute value, plus 3. Here the absolute value of negative 2 is 2, so that when we do the multiplication, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, plus 3, and again we have y equals negative 1. So our point is negative 2, negative 1, and we can see now with these five points that this is a V shape, and here it is an upside down V.